Beatrice, Michael, how are you? Somehow, art has been very good to us, and we thought the least we could do is give it back. The artists have given us some of their best pieces, and we thought it'd be nice to share this with everybody else. Oscar Murillo, he's a young artist, was born in Colombia. He essentially worked his way through art school by cleaning offices. He's an incredibly charismatic character. We saw his work in, a, in an art fair, and we arranged to meet him two days later. And we walk in into a room, and there are six incredible paintings in the room. And he had worked for 48 straight hours to make the paintings. Now, I wouldn't have believed that, except I had never in my life seen a person who looked more exhausted than he did when we walked into the room. And we said, have you ever had an ambition to work on a large scale? We come back five weeks later and we see these incredible paintings. And we said, we, we have to show these. It's not a one-way sharing because I think that it comes back. The, the, the richness of thousands of students coming into this space, what it means for a former drug and weapon confiscation center uh, to transform into a museum space, a public venue space. It becomes a very meaningful interaction that really goes both ways. When we came to this building, it just looked ideal. It's kind of this Bauhaus feel to it, this huge structure. From the outside, we didn't realize it was two floors, but it just looked like it had the mass and it had the dimensions. The architecture seemed really brutal enough and right enough to be a, a good building for us. We realized that it had the right column spacing and the right ceiling heights, and the price was right. That, that was essential. One of the disadvantages of having a big space is artists come here, look at the space, and you never know what they're gonna come back. This is a work of Thomas Hasego, who was obviously an ambitious sculptor. We met him in California. We saw him in a group show that David Kodansky of Gallery had in California and it worked with very powerful, so we went to visit him in the studio so that we, we bought the work and we showed the work. He's a good example of someone that we become committed to. We now probably have 30 or 40 pieces of his, and we continue to do this. I think that's more or less our modus operandi, because we'll meet an artist, we become involved, we, we have faith in the artist, we'll continue to commit to it. Many of the people who will see this actually know this building because when Miami Vice was uh, being taped and run, this was a drug enforcement agency building, and this was always the building that they showed that the bad guys, the money, the drugs, the weapons were brought to. Uh, it's kind of strange because what we've done is we've substituted the original addiction of this building for some <laughs> new addicts. Uh, the difference is they don't lock us up, hopefully.